What on earth are grains? And why do we talk about grains when we're talking about crossbows? Grains, This I get this question quite a bit, believe it or not. And I know only 10 years ago or so when I was getting into crossbow hunting, nine or 10 years ago, that's when I started, well, what is a grain? Why am I talking about this? Well, I always knew from being a rifle hunter and having experience with ammunition and rifles and pistols and all that good stuff about grains. Grains, when we're talking about firearms, we're talking about the bullet, we're the weight of the bullet, not the casing, not the powder inside, but we're actually talking about the weight of the bullet. When we're talking about grains in crossbow hunting, when we're talking about broadheads, when we're talking about arrows and the grains, we're talking about weight. It's just a measurement of weight. Now, grains, where it comes from, I actually looked this up on Wikipedia, and it's kind of interesting. The concept of grains came from actual grains, like oats and wheat. It comes from merry old England, when they used to say that a small thing, when you're trying to figure out how much it weighed, they would say, well, if you take you know, 25 grains off of a piece of wheat, you know, 25 wheat grains, put them on scales, and this other item weighs the same as that, that was 25 grains. So it actually does measure kernels. It actually comes from the measurement of kernels of wheat or kernels of grain. So it's not a type of gram. It's not pounds, nothing like that. It's just a measurement though of its own called grains. I weigh my arrows. I weigh my broadheads. And I've talked about that in other videos, but the little scale actually will calculate grains for you if you want to get into that stuff. The importance of grains when it comes to crossbow hunting is only on your arrow and your broadhead. When you get your whole rig done, your crossbow will come with a recommendation as to what range or specifically what, num what measure of grains is appropriate for that crossbow. You don't want to go higher than that. You don't want to go lower than that. You want to stick with broadheads that are the right measurement, the right amount of grains so that you can assure that the, you're meeting your manufacturer's expectations. And you want to stick with arrows that are in that same weight class as well. Length is another issue as far as arrows are concerned. I'm doing another video on that, but you do want to make sure that the overall weight of your arrow rig, the arrow plus the broadhead is in the right category. My arrows run about 265 grains. I use a 100, grain, uh, 100 grain broadhead. I'm somewhere around, that would make me uh, 365. About 375 is the finished product because I add a Luminoc to the back end of the arrows. That puts me up about 375 grains for the entire rig. But that's on bungee. Oh, that is on my crossbow. Yours will probably be different. I have a 2010 Excalibur Axiom. That's what bungee, bungee is. And that is the recommendation for that arrow, for that crossbow. Your crossbow, if you have a newer one, might shoot something different. Might shoot shorter arrows, might shoot, uh, have a different recommendation as far as weight is concerned. Pay close attention to grains. That's why we talk about weight in terms of grains, and that's all it applies to. If they say use a th uh, 350 grain arrow, they might be talking about just the arrow. They might be talking about the whole arrow rig, including the broadhead. Break it down, and if you don't know the answer to that, and you're not sure, ask your manufacturer. Get on the phone with them and force them to give you an answer. Uh, that should be information they share right up front. That's crossbow grains. That's all about grains and everything I know about it, which isn't a whole lot, but I hope you got something out of this video. Make sure you subscribe and check out our Facebook page. And until next time, all hail Bungie. <laughs>